obsessed sprung ass biscuit. If you want the fade, we can meet up IRL. If you want the fade, let's run it. I will personally beat the dog shit out of you, IRL. Salo Don, aka Frank Garrett. With his address, where his P.O. box is, works in. Well, I originally wanted to make this video to announce that it was official. I wanted to announce that I will be fighting Ray Lazarus, the best friend, the number one moderator, and the most long-standing fanboy of Dale Emanuel Wilson. The time controls would have been three two-minute rounds in Street Beast's backyard. You would have had four-ounce gloves, cups, mouth guards, and nothing else to it. But now I don't know whether that fight is going to happen or not. Ray Lazarus is making up some nonsense about me calling the cops on him. I didn't. I don't know his docs. I couldn't call the cops on him if I wanted to. I don't want to call the cops on him. And what would I call the cops on him for? Making stupid YouTube videos? If so, I'd be in prison for life. Anyway, I'm going to be there on May 4th. Whether Ray Lazarus will or not, that's completely up to him. If he's not there, I'm going to fight someone else in Street Beast's backyard and I'm just going to use my post-fight speech to call him and his boyfriend Dale a coward. Now I know what some of you are going to ask, as you just saw before I started talking. Dale himself has challenged me to a fight no fewer than three times. He's harassed the hell out of my job. He's doxed me live to thousands of viewers. He's encouraged his fans to harass me IRL, which they have. So why would I be trying to fight a surrogate of his instead of the man-child himself? The answer is simple. Dale Wilson is a coward, and there's really nothing else to say about it but that. I've had my people get in touch with his people. Well, he doesn't have people, so I had my people get in touch with him. We offered him every concession in the world. He asked for $50,000 to fight. We offered that to him as a stake. We offered him no drug testing, even though he's on steroids and I'm not. Speaking of which, Ray also claims to be on steroids. I don't know if that's true or not, but I don't care. I've flown to Dale's poverty-stricken neck of the woods countless times, and I even accidentally became his next-door neighbor. I didn't know that my house here, my Casa de Lancaster apartment, is apparently where he lives. But Dale is constantly running from me. Every time I try to say hi to him or even invite him to a dinner party over here, he just ducks his head and starts fast walking away. I personally think that ever since Shang Tsung and Covenant Balrog irrefutably exposed him for grooming underage high school girls, he just avoids everyone in real life even harder than he avoided the LX Dark Sniper three years ago. But that's alright, because while his best friend Ray Lazarus certainly doesn't carry the prestige that Dale Wilson does, I have no doubt that Ray is a more capable, scarier, and tougher opponent than Dale could ever hope to be. In other words, if Ray can't beat me in a fight, Dale certainly can. Ray Lazarus is my ultimate enemy. He's a paragon. He's a natural. He claims to be six foot one and 230 pounds of pure, unadulterated muscle, and I believe him. You know, I believe him because he has that retard strength that you just can't teach people. Ray Lazarus just has that natural aura that makes you cross the street when you see him walking down the road. So on that note, one of the many stipulations that we're trying to reach an agreement on is that if Ray loses, he switches sides from the Kukkonen to the Saladon monkey barrel. He becomes my right hand, my muscle. You know, sometimes you gotta beat the monster to be able to employ the monster. If I lose, I'm willing to delete all my Dale videos and never make a video about Dale Wilson again. So Ray Lazarus and I actually came to terms about this fight in January, which makes the fact that he's trying to pull out now all the more disappointing. And I've been preparing for him since then. I'm nothing if not an engineer. I've taken a very scientific approach to my preparation. My body is in a nearly perfect equilibrium of productive training and recovery. It's no secret that I had massive surgery after recovering from a car accident about half a year ago, but fighting Ray Lazarus has given me exactly the motivation I need to return to prime condition. My VO2 max is in the 60s. My resting heart rate is in the 40s. I doubt either Ray or Dale can say either of those things. In fact, I'd be willing to bet that my VO2 max is higher than both of theirs combined. So Ray says he fears nothing about me in this fight. He's lying, and I don't know if he knows it. I mean, there's the obvious of him making up this police story. But ever since he agreed to the fight, he's been doing all sorts of crazy things. Like, he's been going to psychics, and he even most recently said, I feel like some odd force is trying to take me out of the world. I feel like my death is upon me. And Ray, I want you to know that that feeling you have in the pit of your stomach right now has a name. It's called dread. Your mind knows something that your body doesn't. It dreads a very real and very odd force. It dreads a handsome Native American bald eagle attacking you and pecking at that weak comb over of yours. Come on, just embrace the bald, buddy. And you are nothing more than a little blind girl, helpless to defend yourself, helpless to even perceive the eagle that's killing you. But there will be no Chimera Ant King to save you this time, Ray. I'll be there on May 4th. Will you?